This debate is quite personal to me, and I'd like to share why with you. In 2001, I attended the wedding of a dear friend. Two years later, she developed thyroid cancer, and she underwent radioactive iodine treatment. The next year, when she and her husband started to try to have children, she learned that she had substantial mitochondrial abnormalities that she would pass on to each and every one of her children. She underwent mitochondrial transfer and now has a beautiful and healthy son made possible by this technology. We don't know if the radioactive iodine caused those abnormalities. What we do know is that she now has a child healthy, active, and bright from a technology that is available and we have already used. In 2010, I also received radioactive iodine therapy for thyroid cancer. When I'm ready to have children, I hope that I also have the option of having a healthy child with whatever the best technology is that we have available to us today. I'm not here to defend every type of genetic engineering, and I don't think we're ready as a society to embrace it all. But we already know that there are certain forms of genetic engineering that are safe and effective to use. And what I urge you to do is vote against the resolution, to vote in favor of scientific progress, to vote to enable each of us as private citizens to make private choices and the most intimate choice we will ever make in life, to bring healthy children into this world. Thank you. Thank you, Nita Farahani. Our motion is prohibit genetically engineered babies. And here to summarize